Hi, I'm Ashley from The Busy Babywear, and today I'm just going to be talking about some um, little tips and tricks that you can do when um, wearing an O-ring sling. Um, so right now I have um, Ulrich, who's one month old, um, here in the ring sling. And one thing that can be tricky to do with a ring sling is getting enough head support for the baby. <laughs> um, so say if you have a little trouble tightening and you've got some extra slack here, um, one thing you can do with this extra tail, just kind of twist it up here, and I'm just going to roll it. <laughs> sure. I'm going to roll it up into that top part. It just creates a nice little um, little extra cushion and a nice uh, little extra support there for the baby. Um, another thing you can do with the tail, especially if you've tightened and noticed that it's gotten a little too close to the baby's head, is you can take this extra tail, and I'm just going to wrap it around the ring. So I'm going to pull it it down through and you can do it as many times this is a nice way thing to do too if you don't like a lot of extra tail hanging down so it just kind of wraps right around the ring makes a little cushion there you're okay so this is what you do um another trick i really like and this this is especially for bigger kids um is if you have what i like to call a seat popper or a leg straightener who likes to just pop out of this seat right here take this Go ahead and spread it, and you're going to tuck it up in between their legs, and then up in between the two of you. If you have enough tail, it'll pop out the top, actually. You can go ahead and tighten that, and it just gives that nice extra reinforcing pass right here, so you know, it makes it a little harder for them to pop all the way out. Um, so those are some tricks. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see, some problems that you're having trouble with, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to do a video for that. So, good luck trying these out, and I hope you find something that works.